Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we are going to discuss something that would be of much use for you. Actually if you want to learn English grammar, you have to pass through several very very important topics and these topics are really worthy to learn at the depth. That's why I am here with a special topic and obviously you are going to find it very much interesting. But before we start, let me tell you something. We have already discussed about adverbs and adverbials. Have you checked those discussions? If you haven't uh, checked those adverb and adverbials, uh, I have discussed here in this channel section mantra. I am putting the link button uh, in the above i button. So, from there you can check them and uh, I have already discussed about the conjunctives. But why I have discussed the conjunctives, that's something you have to learn. Actually, adverbials are used in a very different ways and also in a very, very much interesting way in a sentence. And uh, these different uh, types of adverbials according to their uses, according to their relation with the sentences, I am discussing one after another. So, the first one was conjunctives and also I am putting the link of the conjunctive discussion here on the i button above. From there, you can check it if you haven't. And now, today, we are going to discuss about another point that's very, very important for the discussion of adverbials. Yes, dear friends. And this is conjunctive adverbials and today here in this discussion we would learn in detail what are conjunctive adverbials and how are they used. So let's begin our discussion for conjunctive adverbials. So it's now time for us to discuss what is an adjunct. But uh, it's it's very difficult if I try to tell you what's an adjunct, just uh, with its definition, etc., etc. Rather, it would be better for us to have an example here. And there's an example. Last week he went on a holiday. Last week he went on a holiday, and uh, we have already taught how to treat a sentence you have to treat a sentence from the verb now, now which one is the verb obviously went this is the verb and which one is the subject he this is the subject then what's about last week and on a holiday now if i ask you strike out on a holiday and read the sentence last week he went so this is a very complete sentence with proper sense, with proper construction. Now, if I ask you, strike out last week as well. So, we have stricken out last week, we have stricken out on a holiday and without them. This is also a complete sentence, he went, though some information is missing here. We aren't getting detail about where he went, when he went, those informations were missed. But the sentence could be understood well and obviously this is a well-formed sentence. The structure is also very, very clearly understandable. So here, these two expressions, last week and on a holiday, these are but some extra information. Yes, dear friends, these are but extra information. And these informations are integrated into this sentence to provide us something about what's the basic sentence or the main frame. So just, just consider, these are such informations which aren't essential for the basic sentence. So they had been adjugated, they had been integrated. So, these are adjuncts, but I think that won't be sufficient for you to understand what an adjunct is. So, let's get to the detail of what are adjuncts and how to find them out and how to use them. And here's our first point, 
the definition of adjuncts. Adjuncts are integrated into the sentence, but their removal leaves a well-formed and understandable sentence, although we lose some information. You have already discussed it. But adjuncts are integrated. Integrated where? Integrated into the sentence. Integrated into the sentence. It's, it's like uh, getting a pair of battery with a toy. You have bought a toy. It's battery driven. And there with the toy in the battery chamber, you got two fresh batteries. Now it doesn't matter whether you want to continue with these batteries or not, but the toy would remain the same. So here also these informations, those adjuncts, it doesn't matter whether you continue with those adjuncts or you drop them. They are integrated, but they are not essential. You may remove them. So what would happen? The rest would be a well-formed sentence and also quite understandable. But what we lose would lose some information about it. So here's another sentence. I saw him last summer. I saw him last summer. The same thing happens here as well. Let's begin with the verb and the subject and the object and there's last summer. This is but an extra information. Without this, we don't have any problem to understand the sentence. It remains the same. I saw him. It's a well-formed sentence with subject, verb and object and obviously it's quite understandable. But here you must remember that last summer when we drop it, we missed some information. We missed some information about the time and last summer is here but an adjunct. Yes, dear friends, we call it adjunctive adverbial or we call it only the adjuncts whatever you are yes dear friends whatever you want to tell it whatever you want to call it adjuncts or adjunctive adverbials so this is the basic idea of adjunctive adverbials but here we have a word integrated i don't know whether you have a clear sense about what is integrated and how it get integrated so now we are going to discuss about these integrated this word only so this is something where you'll get it so it's a clause if you consider this whole thing this is a clause and adjuncts gets integrated into this like this adjuncts are placed within the clause now what happens if you omit this will there be any change in the structure of this main clause let us omit it i have omitted but look i have omitted the adjunct but there is no change in the main clause the clause remains the same there we haven't found any change in the form of the clause the form of the clause remain the same only the extra information has been omitted so this is how we call that uh, an adjunct gets integrated into a sentence but uh, our discussion must be taken forward because we have many other things to learn for adjuncts the term adjunct to any adverbial which modifies the verb phrase in some way and which is an integral though not obligatory part of the clause so it's integral but it's not obligatory you may drop it this is the message but here you have to think of another points let me tell you one thing which an adjunct modify or an adverbial modifies it modifies the verb phrase got it an adjunct or an adverbial modifies a verb phrase so when it modifies the verb phrase it gets fused into it as an integral but you can drop it from there 
though the information is essential not obligatory but essential just have a focus on these words obligatory but it's essential it's not obligatory but it's essential because it provides us some information but what happens when the adjuncts adverbials can modify the verb but they also modify the adjectives and other adverbs na so what happens when they modify some adjectives or some other adverbs obviously there the adjunctive adverbial or the adjuncts adverbials they are in lesser focus because uh, there our focus remains in the adjective or in the adverb these adjectives and adverbs are important there and not the adjuncts it might be that the adjective itself is an adjunct sorry the adverb itself is an adjunct it may happen but the focus would remain on the adjective or the adverb and less on the adjuncts adverbials how if i say he runs very fast he runs very fast so here fast and very so very this is qualifying fast so this is an adjunct adverbial now it doesn't matter whether very is there or not the existence of very depends on the existence of fast if fast isn't there very won't have any value so it would be in lesser focus than fast the adverb or the adjective the adjuncts adverbials or qualifying or modifying so this is uh, something uh, that uh, we must remember it's really very very important but here we have another point that's that's also very essential it's about position of adjuncts yes dear friends as you know position of adverbs and adverbials are really really a key factor for your learning of adverbials now what happens with adjuncts adjuncts may come in a very very important position of a sentence and that is fronting so how we can front an adjunct so we can front an adjunct in a positive declarative sentence so these are the most important points that you have to remember you can front an adjunct only in a positive declarative sentence positive you may call it affirmative as well so it's possible only for affirmative or positive declarative sentence like slowly she drove away so slowly this is the fronting of the adjuncts and also see drove subject verb constructions and you know that this is what this is a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence and obviously it's assertive in affirmative mode show we can front it but what happens if it's a negative declarative sentence slowly she didn't drive slowly she didn't drive it's meaningless so you can't front the adjuncts here you have to place it at the end of the sentence she didn't drive slowly so this is something that you have to remember it's really very important what happens for adjuncts those are used in frontal positions only affirmative declarative sentences accept them in the frontal but affirmative negative sentences don't accept them in the front position that's it and that's all from our discussion of adjuncts we have many more things to learn about adjuncts but gradually we would learn them not lengthening our discussion so another discussion just after this we'll get we would learn a lot about disjuncts conjuncts adjuncts gradually so stay tuned with us and don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell icon if you have reached here in this channel for the first time we are returning very soon till then bye bye happy learning
Thank <laughs> you.